And this is boss one of world four. My microphone seems to have been fixed, so if this sounds louder, I'm gonna have to change it. I will send you all straight to hell. It's Kabuki 64! Revenge Warrior! I read that in the up. Yeah. Oh, did that just glitch? Well, okay, this fight, you're fighting him, not that thing in the background. That thing in the background wants you to die. The only times you can hurt him is when he does this. Well, not that. When he does this, he dodge the shadows. This is actually the first boss. It really killed me as a kid because I didn't know what to do. You can only hurt him when he does this. Okay, I guess not. We'll just wait a little longer. Yes, you want that thing in the background to hit him, not you. But only when he's stunned. Yes, when he's doing this, you can hit him. And then, when he's stunned, you do this. Haha, <laughs> you gotta love the squishy noise. Also, don't jump, because it hits you like an idiot. Kinda like how I did. Yeah, just keep avoiding these, nothing special. And always duck what he's doing that. If you don't, his poison gas will hit you. If you duck, it won't hit you. And squishy him again. And do not jump because that thing will hit you going up. Yeah, so once again, he'll just jump over you and you'll beat the crap out of him. And then squishy him again. Ah, you gotta love it. Okay, one more go. Mr. Kabuki 64 will be gone. For now. Until the next fight. Anyways, keep dodging these. Those kind of look like those things from Mario Super Mario World, don't they? Well, to me they do. And the final squishy, I think. And he has one health left. What the hell? Oh, come on! The fight could have just ended already! And, you know what? Yeah. How can he hold that up? He's pretty strong. It's over. Goodbye, Kabuki. May you rest in peace in squishy heaven. All my efforts were in vain. Ugh. And, squishy! Yay! Anyways, the last boss of World 4. Uh, we are in World 4, right? Yeah. Okay. And guess who? This boss was in the first game, the N64 one, if you remember. Well, guess what? He's back and dressed to style. Okay. I don't know if people remember, but yes. Obviously, it's the Kabuki guy. Again. But no, he's a robot. I'm going to say one thing right now. He is a lot harder in this game than he was in the last one. Ultra Fighting Machine, Kabuki Final. Oh, well, obviously that's an easy attack to avoid. Yes, if you notice, we are on Rubber Ducky. You do not want to get hit by his burning hand of justice. It is painful. Yes, when he does that, he will teleport to a random area. You always got to be on the lookout, or he will teleport in front of you and stab you with his umbrella. Yes, his umbrella. He seems to be one of the most bulky robots so far. Yes, this is when you switch. If you do not switch here, you will get injured. Also, this fight is really long. Why did I punch him? Oh! In the water you go. And 
And he'll try his little paper fan attack again and fail. And the burning hand of justice. Yes, I will call it the burning hand of justice. He don't really is injustice. He's the bad guy. Oh yeah, no lag in this fight. This fight ran pretty nice, actually. And here he goes with his little teleporting umbrella attack. Yeah, sometimes he will fake you out. He will teleport to the left side of the screen, and then if you do that, he will teleport to the right to fake you out. But still get hit like an idiot. Also, he's right in front of me. Ah, you got kicked in the ass, my friend. Just like that thing where you get kicked in the balls in the TV show. It lags when he does that. The only reason this fight goes on for a while is he keeps doing that. Oh, also the attack, you must shoot your beam. Or get ready to defend. Yes, that was his super attack that he just failed. Own! And that was the ownage clip of the day. Teamwork, my friend. Teamwork. You know, this fight could have been... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. He'll go underwater and pop up right in front of you. But yes, I could have ended this fight earlier if I was doing the continuous attack, which I'm not like an idiot. And here come the fans. This is breaking ball attack of doom! How did I screw up? Ooh, you suck. He only has a little bit of health left. I mean, come on. And here we go with this crap. So, pretty much, wait till you get it. Yeah, I have no more bullets. And continuous hit him if you can. Yeah, you see that? I couldn't do it because he went to the other side and I wouldn't have had enough time, I think. His dress pattern looks weird. Hey, here we go with this crap again. Okay, the next fight, though, after this, I had... And he's done. Why did I not notice that? Yes, that's what his super attack does. I was stupid enough to not notice he was doing it. Well, at least you guys got to see what one super attack was. If you continuous hit it, I think it won't hurt you, though. And that's it. Okay, next boss fight. Le okay, like, you remember the last one I did? How that final boss fight lagged incredible? Well, guess what? These... This is the one, the one of the three bosses of the final world, and it's the only one that lagged uncontrollably. Well, not that bad, but still lagged, so I had to cut it into little pieces to show you the fight at least. And here we go. Boss one of the final world. Also, the emulator screwed up bad. You'll see what I mean. Look at that. See those little rainbow colors? That's not supposed to happen. But this is quite possibly the hardest boss of the entire game, and the creepiest impact robot of them all. And he has 666 health. Well, 6,666. He is a church machine, devil death god. Okay. For people who haven't played it, they might not notice, but yes, it's lagging. I mean, see, it's like all Matrix slow punching. Yes, it's lagging. But, pretty much, this is what he can do. He has this little... Attack where he'll throw those. You have to punch them. And then he'll spin at you usually. That's easy to dodge. Just hit him. Then he has this. See that spike ball? That will hurt you like hell if you do not hit it back. And yes, for being a devil death god, having 6666 six, six, six health is appropriate, but that's a lot of health in this game. That attack you need to throw the baton at. Yes, that's one of them, I think. Also this. Well, this is a good, this is a hilarious attack. You will take your partner and throw him at you. And you're all like, I want to see. Well, here. See what I mean? Yeah, he throws your partner at you. It's kind of funny, but don't worry. He'll come back. This attack. You're not supposed to be able to avoid it with the beam. But if you don't, all you have to do is continuous punch and it won't hurt you that much. 
Then there's this. And yes, the only way to avoid it is switching. And then he has one final attack. But, you know what? He's dead. And you might be thinking, that looked easy. Yeah, that's because I cut out the entire fight. It was like 12 minutes long, lagging, and getting my ass kicked. He's quite possibly, yes, the hardest boss of this game. And one of the cooler bosses. But guess what? He's dead, just like them all. Every good boss must die. Or kill you in the process. One more part left with two more bosses. The final bosses, which is one of my favorites. And yeah, well, part four is next.